In this week's Bleach, Mumbles reveals its true form. Do you have any idea who you're talking to? Bleach Chapter 637, Baby Hold Your Hand, picks up with Mayuri impressed that Zoraki can still move his eyes after being stabbed. But he helped him improve his Zanpak toe and learn the enemy's power so he can't help but be grateful. You know, you're pretty mean to me but that takes the cake. I don't give a fuck. Ikaku realizes Mayuri purposely sent Zoraki on his own. Yumichika tells Nemu her captain is always the same and she says she hopes so. He doesn't quite understand her response. Did I stutter? She replies that she means exactly what she said. So she wants her captain to remain a sociopath. Hey Boogie Boogie, my brain is an antelope! Mayuri then starts telling Mumbles that thanks to Zaraki's sacrifice, he was successful in finding out how his power works. What he's trying to say is that noble victories are always preceded by noble sacrifices. How does Zaraki feel about this theory? I hope you die! Mayuri continues and wants Mumbles to respect the sacrifice by donating its body for his experiments. Mumbles' response? Shut the fuck up! Mayuri sees the frustration and Mumbles get to the point where his cloak finally tears apart. You're one ugly motherfucker. Turns out Mumbles is Crazy Hand. <laughs> the others have no idea what they're looking at, but Mayuri knows that this is the left arm of the Soul King. For the first time in my life, I'm I'm fucking speechless. So Lefty, his new name, starts tweaking out and thrashing his cloak around. No, I'm not afraid. I'm angry. The end of the cloak starts mutating, and by the end, Lefty takes new form. What's up now, bitches? It's no surprise to Mayuri that if Ukitake had a contract with the right arm, that the left would be somewhere else. It also matches Urahara's description of one eye, but he figures it's wrong to call it one-eyed. We can see. Lefty then prepares more nerves for another attack. And I will rain down on a godly fucking firestorm upon you. But Mayuri has the most depressing umbrella I've ever seen to stop the nerves from reaching him. Oh, somebody kill me, please! Mayuri's not sure why Lefty works for Bach, but compared to his happiness, that is only a tiny issue. Then Lefty actually manages to speak and questions happiness. Holy shit, you just talked! I taught myself to talk! Ikaku is baffled at how happy Mayuri is about this situation, but he's found a never-before-seen experiment. How could he not be happy? My body is ready. Lefty launches out more nerves, but Mayuri is begging for more from the left arm. Lefty then speaks again and calls itself Pernita. Left arm is not its name. That's not my name! So this was kind of an unexpected turn of events. Everyone speculated as to what could possibly be under that hood. I thought it would just be some random creature. Others were speculating that it was Yachiru. However, this guy called it in my chapter 635 review, so kudos to him. I do think its form, just a giant fucking arm, is kind of lame. Yes, I know, it's the left arm of the Soul King, but in physical form, we saw the right arm had a slight human form. So why couldn't Lefty? Was it a little creature before it tore out from its cloak? Or was it literally just a hand under there all along? You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! Mayuri's excitement throughout the chapter was pretty great. He's already psychotic, but when you give him something he's never seen, he becomes a whole new level of crazy. I don't know how he can stop the arm of a god, but his arsenal will have to be large to take it down. He did ask the question I'm sure everyone thought when they saw the reveal. Why would Lefty join Juha Bak? Do the two have a similar contract like Ukitake and the right arm? Or did Bak use his power to brainwash him. This chapter just started a whole new list of questions. Whatever the case is, Mayuri is going to subdue this arm or have to kill it. I don't, don't want to kill you. What would I do without you? So I give this chapter an 8.5 out of 10. Mumbles is now Lefty of the Soul King. Mayuri can't wait to start experimenting on his new find, and I think a little backstory on Bach and Lefty is in order. For my question of the week, how do you think Bach got the left arm of the Soul King to become a Stern Raider? Favorite comments are always featured in the next review. Last week, a subscriber proposed this question to me. I found it interesting, so here was my response. If that's something you want to see, spread the word. All right, remember to leave your thoughts on the chapter in the comments below, like and subscribe for more weekly Bleach chapter reviews, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'll be back next week with more Lefty. Peace.